what, what stood out to you from the defensive effort tonight? Um, yeah, all of that. Obviously, we knew taking D'Lo, you know, try to try to uh, bring his percentages down. That, that was that was game plan, you know, first part of the game plan. Then then limiting Draymond and effect on the game with his passing and uh, you know mission accomplished. I, I like how our young guys finished it. Uh, you know, finished the game too. I thought they uh, they you know. Sh sh that's showed real progress and, uh, um, you know, all around good defensive effort. Talk to Temple, he was mentioning, you know, the team needing to win the games they're supposed to win. How pleased are you with the team's level of focus these last couple of games? Yeah, you know, Golden State, I th they played really well the last three games, and, and uh, you know, this game really worried me. So take care of business was important. Um, you know, and now we look forward to uh, you know playing playing two elite teams in the, in the next three games, and and uh, be a good test to see where we are. Uh, um, but uh, we know we, we're going to need our uh, uh, physicality and and uh, um, athleticism to play against against those two teams. So, uh, good test coming up for us. Kenny, you talked pregame about with guarding D'Angelo, playing to the numbers and what the stats tell you. Is, is there any advantage to Scouting a guy or coaching, uh, playing against the guy that you know so well in him and his tendencies, or, or yeah, I, I do think it helps knowing him definitely and knowing how good he is. You know, obviously we made a concerted, concerted, concerted effort. Uh, you know, to take to limit his touches. Uh, he was five for eight from mid range in the first half, just so everybody uh, understands that uh, the analytics always it doesn't always <laughs> work out. I don't know what he was from mid-range in the second half. I'm, I'll be curious to see, but uh, heck of a player. Um, you know, I'm glad we slowed him down a little, uh, uh, but uh, definitely an advantage when you, know, when you know a guy. Now you were caught up in the game. Were you able to hear any of the chants for him or, or you know, the video tribute? He was only here two years, but he got quite the reception. Yeah, that, I, I love it. I mean that's that's great of our fans. I think they appreciate it. I, you know, I, they appreciated what he did for us, and and uh, uh, and I, I know that our coaching staff uh, and the guys that were here really really appreciate him. I know they were they were all talking to him. Uh, I had a you know good moment with them before the game. I, uh, we definitely have a, a place in our heart uh, for D'Lo. And and also, uh, it, you kind of touched on it, but going 5-2 against those seven losing teams, do you feel you got back on track a little bit? Yeah, <laughs> yes. I mean, we knew that it was an important stretch, and I kept saying we need to get money back, you know, from 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 previous uh, uh, missteps. So uh, the fact that we, uh, uh, you know, made 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 some made some money back. Uh, you know, like I said before, though, the challenge now is, is the Torontos and the Indianas of the world. Uh, you know, where, where are we? Where are we against those elite teams? I do think, you know, despite, you know, Kyrie's injury, obviously Karras coming back and getting getting back into form is, is huge for us. Uh, you know, DJ coming back, the fact that we're, we're more healthy than before, I, I, I think that's huge. Once we get Kyrie back, um, you know, we're, we're, we're going to keep getting better and better. I, f I feel good, good where the team is right now. And, and that's one other thing I wanted to ask is I know it's a week before evaluation, but... Do you have any sense of where Kyrie's at right now? Yeah, I mean, no update. I definitely don't want to speculate. No, nothing, nothing, nothing to give you there, Greg. Understanding that obviously each team is different, and that was a somewhat depleted Golden State team, but are there things that you've seen defensively as you stack one win after the other that you think are sustainable? going forward, things that you can use going forward to the, playing the Indianas and the Torontos? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, our, our kind of Achilles heel is, is, has been our rebounding. So the fact that we've, um, I thought tonight was one of our best, you know, rebounding games of the year. So that, you know, we, we, we do get stops. We, we, we're good uh, forcing teams to miss. I, I, I think the rebounding piece is, is huge. We got to keep improving there. Uh, I thought our, we slipped, you know, a couple games with our transition defense, especially in Washington. 
which gives us some regrets, but our, our transition defense got back on track these past two games. So those those are the two big, big rocks that we, 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 we've improved, um, but <laughs> still have a long way to go, Brian. Um, and, and, you know, convert, I think on the other side of it is our, our, our turnovers. You know, we, we got to, if we can, if we can become a better at taking care of the ball, I think, you know, I, this, we have enough talent in there to be a top 10 offense. I do, there's no doubt about it. We just, we just got to keep working. Working on, on on taking care of the ball better, I think playing, uh, being healthy, and playing you know stable lineups is is going to help that uh, tremendously. Coach, uh, Rody's three point shooting is night and day compared to last year. Have you have you seen us changing him or anything he's doing differently this year? Like where where is this coming from? He's not hesitating as much. I think he's he's more confident. He worked hard over the off season on his shots. He continues to shot. We. We know how important it is for our, you know, to have that four man, you know, be able to be able to, you know, sh shoot it or, or when he plays the three is it's huge. You know, you just can't. I think in the past he relied on his athleticism all the time and just driving it. You just can't do that in this league. It's it's too good. They learn you quick. Uh, um, that's going to be his kind of uh, uh, his, his development piece. So, you know, was he going to be able to uh, uh, be a consistent shooter? If he can do that, he's going to be really, uh, really valuable player in this league.